Macho Man, Russo Brothers. How do you guys not have any Nova Corp member in a fight against Thanos? Love the movie, but just boggles my mind. Didn't even have to be Richard Ryder. I look closely at that scene again, there, and you will see. There are thousands of people. Yeah, you will see That's Richard true. Ryder in the background of a shot. Easter egg. Everyone, thank you so much. These were great for, questions. Yes, yeah. sending in these questions. We really appreciate it. And hopefully, you got satisfactory answers. Yeah. And I hopefully you have answers of your own. Hey, everybody, it's Charlie. What's going on? Why are the Russos talking about Nova being in the Avengers Assemble scene from Avengers Endgame? I almost got more requests to make a video about this than I did for the very first trailer for Avengers Endgame. It's not what everyone thinks it is, so I'll explain, because the Russos are all over the map when it comes to talking about stuff like this. Because this Nova stuff is so funny, I also do a special giveaway for the Avengers Endgame Special Edition box set Blu-rays. All you have to do to enter that is just be a subscriber and leave your best Nova theory on the video. Because Kevin Feige did say that they are working on a Nova project, he just didn't say when it was coming or whether it would be a movie or a TV show or whether he would appear in someone else's movie. But what's going on? Why is everybody freaking out about Nova in Avengers Endgame? So I put that clip at the beginning of this. That's part of a larger Q&A that they did for Wired, where they're answering fans' questions from Twitter and other places. All the Marvel directors get thousands of questions like this on social media every day after the movies come out, even after they've long since left Marvel to go work on other films. The Russos aren't working at Marvel anymore, technically. The movie's still in theaters, they just started the home video release, so of course they're still making noise about Avengers Endgame, they still want people talking about it. But a lot of times Marvel directors will give people joke answers just to get them to shut up or to try to make a joke or be funny. Joe Russo himself though is so deadpan that sometimes it's hard to tell whether or not he's joking, so you will be forgiven if you take everything he says at face value. James Gunn has been known to tease people about unfound Easter eggs during the original Guardians of the Galaxy film and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but the Russos are taking it next level trolling. The difference with the James Gunn comments is that he has not done something like this. Like, he will genuinely tell you that there is an Easter egg that someone has not found, and he's not lying just to get people to rewatch Guardians of the Galaxy a billion more times for no reason. There were special codes hidden in the coordinates to nowhere that decoded that Peter Quill's father would be Ego the Living Planet. There was a similar code hidden in the coordinates to Ronan's ship, the Dark Aster, that talked about Peter Quill's mother's cancer and the secret behind that. But after Avengers Endgame came out this past year, everyone was asking the Russos about comments they had made previously and all the misleading trailers lying to them, and they pretty much tell you you can't trust anything that they say. Can we trust you anymore? Like with the trailers, no. can we? No. Trust is a trust is a relative <laughs> word, isn't it? Really, I mean, can we can we trust society? Ah, uh, uh, as if, filmmakers, if what you're to be respectful, about, yeah. or if what you're talking about is can you trust us mm -hmm. to uh, uh, deliver you an experience in the movie theater that's going to be fresh and surprising and one that you couldn't predict? Yes. Trust Maybe. us for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if we give information out, can we trust the internet to ruin it? Yes. yes. We, can trust. we can trust that one. Yeah. But part of me wants you to look down the barrel of the camera and go, <laughs> because it'll mm -hmm. be what it'll be. It, it, it is, and we do, uh, we do do that. We do look down the barrel of the cam camera every day and go, <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. So if you haven't been following everything the Marvel people have ever said about all their movies for the last 10 years, you are totally forgiven for assuming that everything they say is true. It is not. Point in fact, the Russos said that the title of Avengers Endgame was never spoken during Avengers Infinity War, and we all saw Doctor Strange say, we're in the Endgame now. So they said that they did that to protect, quote unquote, the film, and also they hadn't decided on the title. So believe them, don't believe them, whatever. But if you want to be a giant conspiracy theorist, we'll do the ultimate zoom and enhance. So it's supposed to be this Avengers Assemble scene when they're all pulling people out of the portals. So you start with the Black Panther characters, then Falcon, Winter Soldier, Groot, everyone who was snapped at the Battle of Wakanda walk out, then Scarlet Witch, Valkyrie, the Asgardians, Korg, and Meek coming from New Asgard. Next to them are the magic users from Kamartage and the other Sanctums. Then the Wasp and Pepper Potts arrive by themselves. This is the scene with Howard the Duck in it. And if you look at this wider shot with the smaller portals up in the air, those are just more portals from the Wakandan battleships flying through the air so that they don't have to land them on the ground and tow them through the lower portals. 
All of these smaller portals here up in the air on top of the larger ones are mostly just extra portals for the same locations as the larger ones directly below them. Zoom in and hands on the front battle line here, you see Wong, the other sorcerers behind him, Wasp, Groot, the Ravagers behind them, Doctor Strange in the back, Spider-Man, the Guardians coming from Titan, Falcon, War Machine, Hulk, Captain America, Thor, all the Wakandans behind them, Black Panther, Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, Winter Soldier, even watching the running scene in slow motion when they take off and they pan up to the sky across the battlefield. It's just Valkyrie, Iron Man, Pepper Potts, the Wakandan airships, a few of the Ravager ships, Falcon, Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Star-Lord, all the characters that can fly. No Nova in sight. You could comb through every frame of every battle like this and you probably wouldn't find him. Sometimes visual effects artists will hide stuff in the background of shots and not tell the directors about it, but in cases like that, it's usually really small stuff that has nothing to do with the actual plot. There are a lot of Easter eggs for future Marvel Phase 4 and Marvel Phase 5 movies. I've already done a bunch of Easter egg videos for that stuff, but the Russos aren't involved with any of the future Marvel movies right now. A lot of you may have heard about the alternate version of Avengers Infinity War that involved the Nova Corps. There was a version of Infinity War that had an extended scene at the beginning of the movie where Thanos goes to Xandar to take the Power Stone and uses it to destroy the planet and the entire Nova Corps, including Nova Prime. But when they were talking about that version of the movie, they never talked about Richard Ryder Nova appearing during that. There are a lot of people since then that have theorycrafted that the Xandarian world mind will mint a new Nova as revenge for what happened to them, that extinction level event, either the Sam Alexander version or go classic with Richard Ryder, or they'll just do Nova as a character during the past in the Captain Marvel sequels. Like say there was a Nova at one point, but he lived in the past and he's dead in present day. Like I said, Kevin Feige has only mentioned they're developing a Nova project without saying when it would happen or what it would look like, either Disney Plus series or a full-blown movie, but Marvel Phase 5 is the earliest they could do something like that just based on what they've already announced. He talked about the Marvel Cosmic Universe becoming a much bigger thing, the Marvel Space Base movies in addition to the larger Marvel Cinematic Universe. So when you talk about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you're talking about everything that's canon to what's happening during the movies and now the Avengers Endgame spin-off TV series that are happening on Disney+. Plus. Those will be canon and will cross over with the movies. But separately from that, you have the Marvel Cosmic Universe, which is just the space-based movies, which they said is going to become a much bigger thing in the next 10 years, meaning you'll see a lot more space-based characters. Nova just happens to be one of the biggest ones they haven't done yet, so of course they're going to do them at some point. The thing that changes the timeline all that now is the addition of all the Fantastic Four and X-Men characters that they have. Now they can do Galactus, they can do Silver Surfer, there are a bunch of other space-based characters they didn't have access to before. All of that is spoilers, but I'm extremely excited about those characters and about, uh, and about bringing Marvel's first family um, up sort of to the platform and the level that they deserve. Are you anywhere near casting? No. No. Story? No. 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 <laughs> See all the stuff we did today? But you dropped all these teases. I just said we didn't have time to talk about it. So don't be surprised if you hear about a Silver Surfer movie happening before you hear about a Nova movie happening. Hopefully that explains what all the Nova craziness was about this morning. Just the Russos probably having fun at our expense. So just remember to take everything they say with a grain of salt. The Marvel D23 panel is happening this weekend. I'll do videos for all the trailers they drop, all the big stuff that they announce. Be sure to let me know in the comments which videos you want me to make next. Congratulations, Troy Bryant and E. Carlos. You're the giveaway winners from my last Marvel videos. Please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your details. Everybody click here for my Young Avengers Easter egg video and click here for my breakdown of the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness Comic-Con teaser. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.